look like you could use some sleep. Oh, I, I didn't mean you look tired. I, did it come across that way? I'm, I'm sorry. What I meant was, as a developer, you probably have the need to make your applications take a little break for a specific amount of time, even if you haven't thought about it this way before. And we devs, we get asked this all the time, this kind of stuff, right? Stuff like, uh, if the shopper puts something in the shopping cart, but don't purchase it, we should send them a notification in a few hours. So you go off and you build SQL queries and reports, or how about this one? When a new user signs up, we should send them a welcome email seven days after they start. So you kick off an entry in some sort of scheduling system or something, and you see if they have anything at that specific time that needs to happen, it just runs and it's, it's always a little unclear, right? But what is clear is that these lowercase workflows that we're building often have specific timing cooked into them. So it should be no surprise that capital W workflows here on the Cloudflare stack offer the ability to sleep for specific times. But before I show you, let's do a little whirlwind recap of what's up with workflows. So I'm building an app in public. It's called Ponderful. I've made some other videos about how I'm building it. Those are in the notes along with the code repository. Now, one of my favorite things about workflows is you can kick them off and then get out of the way of your users. So recently I started working on uh, interactions here. So interactions with this, if I come in here and I click some things here, I click these, these, these interactions, I wanna catch when people are liking things. And I want these interactions to be super fast. So like when I like something or when I go to the share page, I want right away that to happen. I'm using another workflow here to put these puns into a vector database for similarity searches like this one. Now, instead of jumping in when the user is doing the reaction and doing all that anonymous session and checking in the user's time, I just get out of the way, right? So what workflows let me do is just kick it off, right? So I have this thing here called an interaction workflow. I pass the parameters that I want to it, and then I let it do all the logic, right? So I'm gonna, let's take a look at that interaction workflow under workflows uh, interaction here. So uh, it comes through, it, it checks some session stuff because I want the thing to feel anonymous. Uh, and it kicks off in the background. It makes sure that everything's valid. And when it is valid, then it tracks uh, the interaction. I could change this later, right? So what's nice here is I could change the way the interaction happens in one place. And I just always kick that interaction workflow off. And again, the beauty of this is the user doesn't feel any of this. It's been kicked off in the background. So now that I started getting more data, it started to become time to try to do something with all of it. I figured the best thing that we could do is to create a leaderboard. Now, having built dashboards in the past, I know that this can get gnarly. I wanted something that could crunch numbers, share some data on long running processes, and then cache it for as long as it was relevant. So again, I reach for a workflow. So here it is. It's called the leaderboard workflow. It's a little basic right now. Uh, but the cool thing to remember is that I have a fully bound environment. So I have access to KV or our key value store. So this uh, leaderboard does a somewhat gnarly SQL statement and then it just jams it in there. Two steps. And what I do is I have an update like every 30 minutes. So check it out. This is already available to you. I use the thing that's called cron triggers. If we look down here, you'll see that I have the scheduled. I call it and then I just call off that. I kick that off. I kick off a, a, a create and I set in my Wrangler, I say triggers crons every 30 minutes there. That's what that's saying. So, and we can see, we can verify that it's working. If I come in here and I uh, hit my uh, API puns trending and I put it through JQ, you can see the trends are I stayed up all night because I couldn't figure out where the sun had gone. Then it dawned on me. Uh, people keep making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Mountains are just funny. There are hill areas. Beautiful. So then I started thinking, I have this trends. I know what's popular. Could I have AI generate a pun? Or should I say text generation pun? That was really bad. So I've been really interested in this AI agent space lately. And to me, this sounds pretty familiar, what I'm thinking about. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, people are writing agentic AI code, letting the AI go off and do tasks like respond to email or research a topic. You tell it what you want and AI goes off and tries to make it happen. You can even make it 
check itself before it wrecks itself. So I built a new workflow called Pontificator, and I had it get the trending puns and use them for inspiration. So I said, go ahead, you're a pun maker, use these ones, make sure it has a punchline, here's the puns. Uh, so this is gonna be different each time, right? Because it's trending. And then I asked it to judge the pun. And I used uh, a function calling here to go ahead and get a rating of the pun uh, to, to have it go, right? And so if that goes and it was better than, uh, it was an eight, nine, or 10, right? Uh, we wanna then go forward. And here's what I wanna do. I wanna save the pun, I wanna publish it. Now I want to make sure that I see how the pun survives, right? I want it to be gone for a full day out there uh, in the wild to see if people like it or not. Then I can track later what to happen. So what I did, um, so I published it and then I waited to make sure that it was published. I went ahead and I clicked it off. So it went through the whole background. Now everything's indexed. So it's working just like everything else on the site. From within a workflow, I called a workflow. Pretty cool. Uh, and then I waited for that thing to publish. I made sure that it was published. And then I waited to see feedback and I waited for a day because it's only fair to let this thing out there uh, for a day. Let's take a look at uh, how this can go, how we can make this go. So I'm gonna say, uh, from here we'll say, NPX Wrangler, right? So I'm gonna get a hold of our command line. I'll say workflows. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trigger one of these pontificators and we're gonna see how it does. How does our pun agent do? Okay, and uh, I can go take a look at that new one. So I can go uh, workflows and then I can do instances, right? Cause we just kicked that out. And I, I have that ID there, but check this out. This is a nice little hack. Uh, instances describe, and I say the name of it, right? So, so pontificator, and then I'm just gonna say latest and it will give me the latest one that came back. <laughs> Let's see what the AI did. Ooh, it made it through. I don't know if it's gonna be good. It made it through the judgment. Um, so uh, the, the pun that it created, it said, seriously, why did the ocean go to therapy? It had a lot of deep seated issues. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Y you might've laughed at that. We'll see what happens, right? We're gonna put it out there and see what happens. And it got an eight. So it got rated an eight. And this pun works because of the double meaning of deep seated. The word deep can refer to the ocean being deep. True but it also deep-seated issues, so get it, ha, ha, ha. Uh, it's not a joke, you've got to explain it, but I asked the judge to explain why this is funny. Uh, this is pretty cool, right? Uh, so that went through, it saved it. Uh, I was actually hoping it was gonna make a bad one, because if it does make a bad one, it doesn't publish it, right? It, it says, no, stop, no more. Now, I haven't really figured out what I'll do with this just yet, but I'll definitely use the data to make this pun game better, right? Maybe I can write an app where you have to guess if the AI generated the pun, bot or not, sort of thing. Or I could have another agent that analyzes why the pun worked and why it didn't. You know, as the bear has been known to say, anything's possible, get it? I'm a bear, a pause. My kids love that. I probably wouldn't pass the test of the... What current time-based problems are you writing code for? Could it benefit from a workflow? I really don't think you should sleep on this feature. Do you see what I did there? I, I made another pun because I can't stop. I have a problem. We love building here at Cloudflare and we know you do too. You should totally subscribe to this channel so that you can follow along to whatever we got cooking and share what you're cooking up. And now I'm ready to call the sleep method on myself. <laughs> see you next time however long I slept for. Thanks so much for hanging out and we'll see you real soon.